This might be the last test ride of the season, but tomorrow we're going up to ride the Polaris mod sled and one of the phases we fixed that haven't had a test ride yet. And then the one with the motor swap. But all everything's running good. It just I like to get them on the snow. Make sure they're doing better. But yeah, here's our little setup. Try to get out tomorrow and get some more video. Okay, we're just gonna be up here doing a little snow check. Or not snow check, but sled check on three sleds we just got done building and repairing. So I think we're at the end of the season here judging by this parking lot. Anyway, we'll get some more video for you today. Okay, we got the Polaris back. Now we're gonna test ride the other phaser. Test ride is showing the sled not revving out 100%, so I'm just going to check to make sure I'm not oiling too much, which I was trying to also make sure it was oiling enough at the shop. And now that I can see lots of smoke, I'm going to turn the oil down by adjusting this. You've seen that in the other videos. Sometimes that can make a difference in your rev noticed so this is on the snow tuning at elevation so we'll see how that treats it okay So we've been doing some on snow tuning and what I've done, all I've done is check the belt, adjust the oil pump, and now I'm messing with the uh, enrichment screws. I got them both set at two and that's improving a little bit, but the other test for this sled was I put in on purpose some old rubber plugs in the carb and I'm gonna switch those out Probably won't be till next year now, but we'll switch those out and see if it makes any difference. Anyway, we can do that in the shop anytime. Anyway, we're gonna get one more test here and see how it goes. Boggy sled. Sometimes I like to cut these cables back to make sure I'm getting good spark. You know, cut off like 
you start seeing the wire, good. It's easy like a quarter to three eighths. Let's <clears throat> do both sides wire right here. See that's good wire. Show it on that one. I actually think it's the rubber plugs, but I'm gonna try this first. I screwed these on on the snow tighter today when we were out there. <clears throat> it doesn't take much. I like to, I mean, you gotta think about how old this stuff is that we're running these days. I'm gonna fire this up. I got it on the stand. Just see if it revs up. <clears throat> Should be warm, it was only about an hour ago. I rode this. So this is the third trip up to the riding area elevation. We're still trying to dial this in. You can see I've got the air box off just for testing purposes. No big deal. I'm not going to ride it that long. Right now I'm setting the chokes. Um, seems to run better on choke for whatever reason. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. Took it down yesterday and replaced all the rubber plugs. Running way better from yesterday actually get some revs out of it so I'm just gonna just this choke out a little bit more and see how it goes okay I've got the chokes adjusted all the way up I just feel like the sled's not getting enough fuel and I haven't rebuilt this fuel system you know behind the fuel pump they had a bunch of weird little hoses and things like loops that. I'm not quite sure why they did that, but that's my next step is to remove all that junk and see how that goes. Okay, you've seen this sled on the snow. I'm trying to get a snow tune out of it. Got most of it figured out. Um, turns out this sled hasn't really been on the snow for a while. And then it's got some of these weird fuel line loops and oil line vent or a vent that's the vent so I'm going to pull the seat and uh, clean up all this stuff because we're then I'm going to go back through the fuel pump because a lot of that stuff hasn't been gone through <clears throat> So here's the demise of this sled. That motor that we put in there had bad crank seals. I'm going to take that thing apart tomorrow and just so uh, show you. Nothing I would do to get that thing running right. So here we are transferring the fuel out of this nice sled into my car. Since we're kind of running up on the end of the season here, I'm not going to transfer it into another machine. Anyway, that's how you do that. You just get a little pump, hook it to a snowmobile or ATD battery, and just pump it in there. I do this between sleds all the time. It's pretty nice. 